to loosen restrictions and allow more things to happen. Is that gonna go fully to no restrictions on anybody and, and we're back to life as we used to know it, whatever normal is? Um, I don't know. And, and I think <clears throat> people who tell you that they can guarantee anything are being foolish. We can't guarantee those things. As a wag once said, predictions are difficult, especially about the future. And, and so um, we are doing our best to anticipate what we think is the most likely scenario, but build around it several other scenarios, some less uh, restrictive, some more restrictive, and be prepared to act accordingly. But I just, I stress a point throughout this conversation and in everything I have to say these days, uh, we are determined to do our job. And, and that means in this time of global pandemic of COVID-19, our job is to deliver what the people of North Carolina depend on us for, education, research, service, uh, outreach, in a way that is responsible and that it protects the, uh, the people who have entrusted their, their lives, their, their health, their futures to us. And we're just not going to screw around with that. We are not going to do things that are irresponsible. Um, can we assure people that there is zero risk in everything we do? Of course not. Life is not zero risk in any part. But we are going to be doing this in a way that is uh, careful, thoughtful, science-driven, expert-guided, um, as it happens, I spent a bulk of my career in public health and in infectious disease control. And uh, uh, most, many people who know my background know that I was once director of the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta. Um, maybe that's why I'm in this position right now. Uh, whatever you think about why things happen in the world, uh, maybe that's why I'm here. But you can bet your bottom dollar, I'm gonna be using my ability my experience, and then the advice and counsel of lots of others to do this in a way that is good for the people we serve and surely not harmful to them. If you're interested in, in my faith, look at Esther chapter four, verse 14, and uh, that'll explain what goes through my mind these days. There, Queen Esther was told, who knows, but you were brought to this place for this for a time like this.